Okay, this is part two, and this is my favorite part of decorating. Um, so, uh, all the stuff I got was at Dollar Store, and you can pick out whatever you want that seems to match. If you did silver and white, you can always do snowflakes is a good one. Um, but because I had gold in here, I thought I'd go with gold. So, I have some gold bows, some gold little flowers. And I've got some gold ribbon, and I've got some red and gold ornaments. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use. I'm just going to kind of play with it. Um, but you probably do need a hot glue gun if you do not have a hot glue gun. I also got from Dollar Store for a dollar these um, LED lights, and I've adhered them to the back of the wreath. And I put batteries in them, and I'm going to turn them on so we can kind of see what it looks like. So... I'm gonna flip that over. Now, I didn't know one of them was red. It's a little gaudy, but whatever. We'll just flow with it. Um, so, I would suggest doing one to the outside, facing out, and then one to the inside. Um, and so we're just gonna kinda play around here with it and see how it goes. You can always use, if you want to, you can use a pipe cleaner or you can just kind of secure it down underneath like so. Okay, now I've got the red. And let's see. Because I did that one on the inside, I'm going to take this one kind of out. I don't. Want, I kind of want them to be intermixed because the red's a little much, so I think I'm going to bypass what I said earlier about going in and out um, so it can kind of intermix. Alright, that'll do for now. We might adjust later. Once we get more ribbon and stuff in, and but you get the concept. Okay, so now um, when I look up at this, I do not like the fact that there are all the greenery showing, and so I just want to show that if you get to a point you don't like something you can always just work and try to do something different so I was thinking about taking some of this gold ribbon and maybe working it in there um, to try to cover up some of the green so it look a little bit more full um, there's a lot of other different options that you can look on YouTube um, even some that have some of this roll and it's you can um, make big bows that kind of adhere into it so there's a lot of different options to do um, but I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and try to work this in and see if I can cover up some of the green and make it look a little bit better. Um, so you can use the pipe cleaner and just tie it on. So, and then you can try to hide it back in here. Okay, so now you guys probably have a better angle than I do. So you can kind of just work this in. And we can even use more pipe cleaners to secure it. Okay, so I kind of came back in later on um, because my husband's phone went off and so it kind of stopped the recording. Um, but I ended up putting the lights on and then I'm starting to do the ribbon in between and I'm putting it, tying it down with the pipe cleaner and I'm going ahead and just like grabbing some lights so it, to make sure that it's secure. So you can kind of work it to the way you want and then um, secure it down on certain spots like 
there's one here, one here, um, and then I actually used a whole thing of ribbon. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this whole ribbon out. And I'm gonna show you real quick what I've been doing. So here's one right here. See, I'm just taking it underneath one of the wires. And then I'm gonna take the ribbon and take one of the light strings and just kind of adhere it down so that it won't move as much. And then just twist it and then I just try to conceal what I can underneath. And then oh, I got a little bit of extra ribbon here. So either I can work it in kind of here or you can cut it, whatever. But I might just, let's see. That doesn't look good there. I think I might just go ahead and cut it. Uh, let me see. I'll just take it back behind and then tuck it in in the back. There wasn't enough ribbon to do anything with. Let me just give it a tie back here. So then I can kind of fluff it all out everywhere. And then I think that looks a little bit better now that you can't see the greenery, the green as much. You still can see some, but it's really not that noticeable. It almost kind of mixes in with the light. Okay, I'm going to stop this and then I'm going to go get my glue gun, heat that up, and then I'll start, um, we'll work with some of the um, ornaments, flowers, however you want to do it. Okay, I'm back. So I really don't think I needed my glue gun. So it depends on the item that you get. Um, but these have little um, clips on the back of them. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the clips. Um, I'm going to space them out. Um, so maybe put one there, one kind of split it up so they're not right together and do maybe the bows in between. these don't fall off. Okay, and then these are twisty ties. So I can get these off. But these are pretty heavy, so I don't know how these are going to roll. Okay. All right, so let's see how these look. Now, once again, a lot of this is just trial and error, and if you don't think it looks good, which I'm not really digging these very much. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna kind of lay them there and see before I decide to do that. It's kind of, I kind of look weird, if you ask me. not digging the bows so I don't think I'm gonna put the bows on and um, I'll probably bring these with us to mom to mom so we can somebody else can use them if they like them um but yeah that's just a little too much on the bow so I'm gonna leave those um, you know I could even grab maybe three more of these and add those on um, we can even try some ornaments I, I might have gotten the too big of ones um, but we can try. I do have the glue gun here, and so we might be able to kind of adhere them on, but we'll give it a try. I'm going to push pause so you don't have to sit through me opening this stuff. Okay, so I'm back, and I ended up doing these first, and I don't like them with these, and I put on, I just took one of the ornaments, 
and just cut the little tie off and then roped it inside of there. And I, now that I'm doing it, I think it looks a little bit better with the bows. So I'm gonna take these off and put the bows on. And then I'm just gonna run some ornaments and some bows in between and then I'll show you the finished product. And then we'll be done unless, um, you know, we wanna add one of the really large bows at the bottom or top which um, we quite possibly might teach you, um, depending on if you guys are interested. Okay, so I put bows and ornaments on and I kind of just tied them on. And so they're probably not gonna be as sturdy, so I might just go ahead and add a little bit of, um, oh, as I'm about to start a fire, um, some glue on and kind of adhere it so it won't fall off. Also, these lights are indoor lights, it says, so um, if you're wanting to do an outdoor wreath, probably don't need to be using the um, indoor lights. But after I kind of just put a little bit of glue and adhere it, then I think I'm done. And then if you have any questions, just let me know. Yippee!